Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Keeping Up With The Kittens. My name is Jen, and I am one of the fosters for Houston Pets Alive, and this is my kitten room that we are viewing right now. Um, inside my room, I currently have nine kittens, and they are the Grey's Anatomy litter, so I named them after some of my favorite characters um, from one of my favorite TV shows, Grey's Anatomy. But these guys are about um, seven to eight weeks-ish old. Um, two of them have already had surgery, meaning that they had met their uh, surgical weight of two pounds. Um, so two of them are ready. The others are uh, very quickly catching up to that weight and should be scheduled shortly to get their surgery. But we've just been having um, a very relaxing weekend so far and just kind of been cleaning and playing and um, just socializing them and getting them used to um, some people uh, and getting them ready to find their forever homes. So if you have any questions about any of these guys, um, feel free to put those down in the comments below. You can also check out our website um, that has um, available kittens and cats that are available right now. These guys are not available quite yet. Um, they will be once they get on our website. So after they get their vaccinations, after they get spayed and neutered, they'll get on the website and they'll be available for adoption. Um, but they're not quite there yet. Um, but you can check out our website. I know they had a very successful dog adoption event yesterday. So if you're interested in a dog or a puppy, you can check that out as well. But we are just going to sit back and watch these kittens have some fun.
nice to see you. They are loving their little circus um, cardboard house there. They play in it all the time. So again, thank you so much for that. Welcome everyone. If you are just now joining us, you are watching the Gray's Anatomy kitten litter in my kitten room. I am a foster for Houston Pets Alive and this is my room where I house my foster kittens. It's dedicated just to these guys. Um, but we have nine kittens in here so I was going to go over who we have. Um, as you can tell, there are a lot of brown and grayish tabbies and so it's kind of hard to tell who's who. There's a couple of them that have very distinctive coats. Um, but even I get them confused, and so I use a color collar system. And so we have Alex, who has on a lime green collar. Derek, who has kind of like a construction orange collar on. So those are the only two males in this group. And then the rest are females. And so we have Izzy, and she is the gray and white one, and she has on a yellow collar. So she does have a distinctive uh, color coat. Um, Lexi has a blue collar on. Miranda is a black cat. Um, she has a teal collar on, so she has a distinctive coat. Um, all the other ones are kind of that, that brownish gray tabby um, thing going on. Um, Teddy has a purple collar on. Joe has an orange collar. Meredith is the solid gray kitten in here. Um, and she has a red collar on. And then Christina is the light brown with black stripes tabby, and she has a silver collar on. Um, so hopefully you kind of get some flashes of their collars as they're playing and maybe you're virtually falling in love with some of them. Um, but if you are, the best thing I can tell you to do because they're not available yet, um, but you can go onto our website at HoustonPetsAlive.org and fill out an application. And you can say, well, I am interested in, maybe you're interested in Meredith or maybe you're interested in Alex. And so you can mention their names in there. Um, we don't hold kittens, but we can arrange for a meet and greet and see how things go, and then we take the next steps after that. But the first thing to do is to go ahead and get that application in. While you're watching, if you have any questions about these kittens, about HPA, about fostering, donating, volunteering, anything of the above, go ahead and throw those down in the comments, and I will answer them to the best of my ability.
If you are just now joining us, welcome to our episode of Keeping Up With The Kittens. These are nine adorable little kittens that I am fostering through HPA. And as you can tell, they are having a good old time with playing with their toys. Um, one of the things as a foster that we need to do is make sure that we are providing enrichment for our foster kittens and cats and dogs and puppies. And so as you can see in this room, I have tons of different toys, um, different heights of toys, different types of toys for them to play with or enrichment um, is another name that you can call it. And so you might even see I have some empty uh, Friskies canned food boxes there that they just love to play in. And so you can use a lot of things and kind of repurpose them and let them play in it. So they like those little hidey holes, they like climbing on things. Um, it's really important to give them some things that stimulate, stimulate them so they are just not kind of sitting around. Um, this helps with some of their natural behaviors too, such as clawing, um, they hide on things, they like to climb on things. So if you give them the appropriate toys, they're not going to then destroy your furniture. That's one of the biggest things that we hear from fosters sometimes is that my cat is clawing on my couch. And the first thing I ask them is, well, do you have something else for them to claw? It's a natural behavior for cats to claw. So do you have a scratching post? Do you have a cat tree that they can climb? Do you have some type of thing to where they can sharpen their nails and get that behavior out so it's not on your couch? Um, so a lot of the behaviors that the cats do that people don't like is that we can change those and provide them the appropriate um, enrichment or toys to help them with that. Um, so you see here I have lots of different ways um, and I'll change them up. I have um, a whole closet full of stuff and so after a couple weeks they're, they seem a little tired with it. Just like kids do, they get tired of a toy. You know, you change them out um, and I keep a new, uh, new uh, stockpile of toys in there. So even as far as just changing out the little jingle bells and the stuffed animals and things like that, I'll change out. So really important as a foster, even as a pet owner, is to make sure that your um, pets have appropriate enrichment or, or appropriate toys to keep them stimulated. So as we wrap up this evening, thank you so much for joining us. If you're catching this on the repeat and you have some questions about these kittens or anything related to HPA, go ahead and throw those down in the comments and I'll get to them. But most of the answers can be found on our website, which is HoustonPetsAlive.org. And that'll give you information about if you want to become a foster, if you would like to adopt, if you would like to donate or become a volunteer for us. We are always looking for all of the above. 
Um, so if you are maybe not interested in fostering, but maybe you can donate or volunteer, there are some buttons on our webpage that you can get that information and sign up for that. Um, you can also sign up for our newsletters that come out and that will keep you updated on ongoing events or things that we're working on, fundraisers that we're working on, um, or anything that just may be happening. I know everyone's focus right now is kind of on the aftermath of Laura and how we're helping um, the animals in need from that. I know that some of the other rescue organizations are putting together some things and everyone's getting that in the works and, and getting that going. So make sure you keep an eye on that. Um, and if you have room in your house to become a foster for during this time, we would greatly appreciate it. But again, if you have any questions, throw those down in the comments. And then if not, I hope everybody has a fabulous beginning to their week. And we will see everybody on Tuesday.